Everybody, it's Invicta. It's time for a tainted random run day here in the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance series. It's been a while since we've done a random tainted run, and I'm a little bit worried about it because obviously since it's been a little bit, uh, we know that the game has been saving up for something special. So we'll see who we're playing today. But first, thank you all very much. We did get another video crossing over 3,000 likes. Now that puts us at 104 over 120. Let's keep it going. There's still two videos that are very close. They're hovering around 27, 2,800 likes right now. Get those ones up to 3,000 so we can add two more on the like street counter and get ever closer to the all items tier list. Here's your artwork of the day. Really cool pixel art here submitted by, I'm going to say Polar because that's what they said to call them in the title. Top throw was first post here on the Reddit. Hope you like my semi-realistic pixel art of Sinvicta and sorry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, again, I really, you know, you all know how I'm a sucker for good shading, uh, especially with pixel art. Pixel art is one of my favorite mediums to actually look at, and this is a very good representation of what the Sinvicta logo could look like as a pixel art, re uh, realistic rendition of it, I should say, in pixel art. So thank you very much, Polar, and everyone who uploaded that one. All right, here we go. Let's take the Band-Aid off, and let's see what the game has got uh, cooked up for us today. Tainted Lilith. I'll take Tainted Lilith over Tainted Lost, that's for sure. CJ's going to be uh, Hotel Papa 9-7, Zulu 6, Bravo 3. So, yeah, I was really worried there for a second. <laughs> really, really worried. I'm not mentally prepared to play Tainted Lost right now. It's been a long weekend uh, filled with lots of... Uh, oh, Worm Buddy, hello. Well, welcome out, welcome out to the show, Warm Buddy. Good to see you. Um, it's been a long, long, long weekend filled with video games and, and Pokemon cards and Diablo 4, of course, have been, still been taking over everything. Um, although I do feel that the, that the hype around D4 is starting to wane for me a little bit now that I've pretty much reached almost max level. Uh, and, uh, okay, well, just, we just have an empty floor here. It's fine by me. Um... But, you know, I'm still making content for the gaming channel uh, for Diablo 4. So people have been asking me, like, oh, how come you're not posting any Diablo 4 content? Uh, well, I am. It's just on the gaming channel. You can check the link down below for the Sinvicta gaming channel. I've been posting a lot of content over there. Uh, definitely go check it out. I'm still going to be doing more Diablo 4 content as well. Um, you know, I'm super hyped for the first season, which will be, I believe, in July. So it's very curious to see what Blizzard's going to be doing for the debut inaugural season of D4. Um, definitely going to be, you know, I I've, I I'm, I'm really looking forward to... Maybe not starting fresh because obviously, like I just got done being a fresh character on release. But yeah, I'm still I'm still looking forward to to seeing what kind of new content that they add for the game, and uh, I'm not looking forward to the class balances that they're supposedly planning. But we'll see. Uh, get a movement speed upgrade, which is extremely important for Tain Lilith, who's very 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 sluggish. And yeah, we have Warm Buddy. To take one hit there against Haunt, pretty much no a no surpriser there, as a uh, Haunt tends to get me once or twice in a in a fight. So what's neat about Tainted Lilith, of course, is that she has Jello, and unlike the item that she unlocks, uh, she can just spam Jello over and over and over again. Um, he can't pick stuff up for Lilith, which is a little bit of a bummer. Um, not like uh, like Forgotten or uh, Tainted Forgotten can with the bone, but. Um, it, she still gets a very powerful sort of melee whip attack, which can be very, very useful. Um, the in, the initial damage that Jello does is quite strong, uh, and that does, I believe, scale with her damage, her actual tier damage. So it's good to always get tiers, t uh, damage upgrades and tiers upgrades, of course. You can also use Jello to actually just fire shots because, technically speaking, Lilith does not fire tiers at all. Um, just like her non-tainted counterpart, uh, Tainted Lilith can cannot fire direct tears from from Isaac's face. Uh, instead, it, it is originated from uh, from Jello, which is a little bit of a it's a little bit of a learning curve at the very beginning when you first start playing her. But once you realize that like oh Jello is actually just a it's just a a ranged whip item um, that you can use for that you can use for melee or range attack. It's, it's totally up to you. Uh, then you realize that like yeah she's actually pretty strong out the gate. I would say one of the stronger. Uh, characters right out of the gate in terms of the tainted characters. I'm going to use our last bomb here, and I am very sad because that did not hit the stones all the way. 25 cents. So this is enough for us to roll through the shop a little bit, and uh, we can pick up a bomb, or alternatively, we could just spend a key to get a bomb here, which I think is a little bit better because I'd rather have that money for a premium item uh, or rolling through the store. 
And we definitely, if we're going to take Devil Deals, we need to get at least another Soul Heart or two in order for me to feel comfortable for that. So let's go ahead and roll the shop. We get Blank Card. Eh, blank Card's... Blank Card's not great anymore. Uh, jumper Cables are good, except that we don't have a Space Bar item to really make use of it. Oh, I knew that we were going to see something like that. I knew that we were going to see something like that. Okay, so there is an arcade. So let's go back over here and see if we can make the most out of this. And hopefully there's a temperance machine in here. I will. I am willing to dip into our soul heart fund. I mean, keeper sack is absolutely worth it. So it looks like we are going to be able to get it here. Um, I believe anyway. Unless so, baby. <laughs> oh man, we've been getting really lucky with these dimes out of the temperance machines lately. And honestly, I'm all for it. Like after the week I've had of Isaac, like please, I'll, I I will take a little bit of relief. I will take some some nice, soothing relaxation runs. Keeper sack, which is going to give us three cents and a key. Um, looking for one more soul heart here. Oh, okay. Well, well, I mean, you know, you know, we're going to have to get that. Uh, because obviously with keeper sack, we want to try to capitalize on the most money possible. Uh, and uh, that's because we want to get some more stats. And how do we get stats? Well, we get money. How do we get money? Well, we go to the temperance machine here and hopefully get a couple more taps. I mean, another dime, like, if, uh, no one can be that lucky, right? All right. Uh, I'm going to use... We could use the bomb. So we're wasting... A, not wasting, but we're, we're using a lot of time here. Ticket room might be there, but I'd rather use this bomb, honestly, for this chest over here which could have a lot of things that could help us including like money or it could just have a useless trinket it's fine we're getting the treasure map either way like that's that's just going to happen so let's see what we have here from old dookie old dookie he's dookie let's see there jello rattling off a couple shots there on old dookie uh, we get the pentagram. I'm going to make a controversial play and not go to the devil deal. Here's why. I want the treasure map. The treasure map is going to give us more stats than almost any devil deal item that we could possibly get currently. And if we were to take a devil deal item, let's assume like it's brimstone or something like that, then we would be left with not with zero money, with zero way to get money uh, out of the temperance machine. So... That's that's the decision there. Um, okay, so we use a soul heart here, and honestly, that's fine. Um, I don't want to jeopardize us not getting the treasure map and cashing in on Keeper Sack. Technically speaking, we haven't gotten anything for Keeper Sack yet, so this is going to give us some added value. And on top of, of course, giving us mapping and the treasure uh, treasure map effect. So there we go, and we get ourselves a movement speed upgrade, 1.26 damage and 0.7 range. Or 0.5 range, I should say, going up to 7 range. So, it's tough. But sometimes, you know, sometimes you got to make those you got to make those decisions. And uh, that's why I'm I'm the coach. I, I got to make the hard decisions. And curse the XL. I don't know why we're getting... This is like maybe the third or fourth run in a row, including the runs I've done on stream where we've just gotten uh, Curse of the Labyrinth on 4, 3, and 4. But I don't like the frequency of it. So this really screws us because we are going for angel deals and uh, we did not get anything out of our second floor for our special room because obviously we, we, we rejected the devil deal. So... The reason why this doubly screws us is because we're at the lowest possible spot we ever could be for an angel deal in the game. So, yeah, we've already been we've already lost one angel deal here, and we're going to probably lose another one unless somehow we get lucky and get one. That's the only way that I mean, there's no way to make up for the loss of value in an XL in a Curse of the, of the Labyrinth. There's just not. Um, it doesn't matter even if you get a double item room or something like that. You still lose a lot. Um, and that's that's why I, again I, I always reiterate that it is the most detrimental curse in the entire game. Like a lot of people, well, unless we get teleported there, um, a lot of people like to talk about Curse of the Blind. And yes, Curse of the Blind is god awful, uh, but you know Curse of the Curse of the Labyrinth is it it, it absolutely dwarfs 
the amount of of loss that you receive on a curse of the blind because you can still technically take those items is the thing right you know like obviously like i don't because i'm me and i don't like and we don't take blind items here but um you can still take them if you needed items whereas curse of the labyrinth just takes away special rooms shops yada 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 i've already explained it ad nauseum but i like to just reiterate it just because i mean that's just that's what i do it, this this series is is not built on if not built on reiteration then i don't know what it's built on maybe maybe lunacy maybe maybe psychoticness i don't know a starter deck would be nice here um and i'm going to attempt to get it a little bit of a misplay here we actually didn't want to raise our got another one damage upgrade we get temperance machine too we actually didn't want to raise our angel deal our angel deal chances now because we, it, it, this is, this sounds stupid, especially for what I just got done saying about the detriments. Also, I don't know why I went back this way because we didn't have to. Um, the detriments of the of the Curse of the Labyrinth, but the reason why we don't want to raise our Angel Deal anymore is because we want to we want to get a maximum qualification percentage for the next floor, uh, because we're going to. I mean, we're assuming that we're going to miss out on this uh, on this Angel Deal. So if we actually do get the angel deal on this floor, then what that does is that inadvertently screws us on the next floor because our our base chance of getting one goes back down to default, goes back down to the thirty six or thirty three percent, which is not what we want. Warm buddy making the big time play here, although I'm not sure what that's going to do to Bumbo's AI. Like all I want him to do is just break this tinted rock. I'm actually going to lay off the DPS here just so he can break it for us. He can see us. Bumbo, you missed. You missed. You missed dearly. <laughs> okay. That are so hard. I don't, know. I don't know what I just witnessed there, but that was... <laughs> Alright, anyway. Anyway, there we go, Worm Buddy. See, that's what we want you to do, Worm Buddy. And, I mean, look at our damage here from uh, Jello. Even when we're not using the melee attack here, Jello's still rattling out some good hits here. There we go. Okay, so that's actually good. We didn't... We Again, we did not want to qualify for the deal with the Devil. I know that sounds counterintuitive. I know that sounds in incredibly stupid, but we did not want to. Th this works out for the best for us. I'm going to use the two of hearts here. And again, money is important here. Actually, we should be doing this with uh, the game cartridge. You know, Matt, I would have been if I accidentally slipped into the into the crawl space. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right. Good, 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 good. Let's go back and get our item rooms. I know, I know. We haven't been to the item rooms yet. I know. Trust me, your boy knows. Uh, we just have to go all the way over. And judging from the map, I can almost guarantee you that our item rooms are going to be... Have... Was that creep there, or did we get shot? I, I wasn't even paying attention. I was looking at the map. Which is my fault, of course. Get Queen of Hearts was actually a fantastic amount of money for us in that boss room that we dropped all the uh, tempers machines on. Oh, Jello, you're freaking me out here. You can't be. You can't be shooting targets and letting them float towards us, Jello. We need you to need you to eliminate targets, not help them. That's the, that's counterintuitive. So this is going to be all of our. You know, it's going to be all of our item rooms down here. And I, I'm not even going to try to to begin to look for the secret rooms on this floor. I'd rather save our bombs, to be honest. I mean, Angry Flies... The, here's the thing about Angry Flies. That, yes, it does contribute to Beelzebub. And if it does deal damage, it can deal good damage. But it it go, it all goes back to the concept of controlling your, of controlling your outgoing DPS, right? And I cannot control where angry fly goes therefore it has a little unpredictability factor and unpredictability 
is or unpredictableness is not a trait worth having in Isaac um, in a game that you have to know what the game is trying to do or kind of like employ or what kind of tactics it's trying to employ on you. We get a third temperance machine. I hope that we get some some blood bag payout here. That'd be great. Large amount of hearts here, so we're gonna take as much as we can without losing this eternal heart, of course. Yeah, this is great. Look at that dime. The IV bag, which we might as well take. Uh, but we still want to tap the temperance machines, though, just because we want to get that blood bag payout. I didn't mean to pick up that heart. Yeah, so this is going to be beautiful for us with Keeper Sack. Hey, there we go. Game Kid finally, finally proc out. Although I don't know what's going on with Isaac's face right now. His face was like kind of clipping through, or his head was kind of clipping through his hair. Not sure about that one, game. There we go. A little bit of a misplay. I should have played this Temperance Machine before picking up the Blood Bag. It gets forgiven because obviously we just proc the Game Kid again. And this could not have gone any better for us here. So we are taking up a lot of time, but I think we'll be able to, we'll be able to make a run at uh, at boss rush though. This is this was a fantastic floor. First, the maze here. So. Even though it was a, even though it was an XL floor, um, as you see here, the benefit of us missing that angel deal was the fact that now we get the, we get the hundred percent deal with the with the angel chance, instead of it going back down to a thirty three point eight percent chance for an angel deal that we already got the benefits out of. Because remember, we teleported it, teleported to it through the curse room, uh, or through the uh, the mob trap room. So we already knew that there was that there was the halo in there, and there was no reason for us to actually qualify for the angel deal in that respect. So the only thing that the only thing that getting the angel deal in that spot would have done for us was screw us out of the next angel deal, and we don't want that. I don't know where the where the item room is. I have a feeling it's probably not down here. This looks like more like a cursed room. No, okay. not a cursed room, a, a sacrifice room. Chubb not having a good time. Warm buddy. Kind of kind of wrapping her up here. Uh, secret room, nah. It sometimes is there if you see that flat wall, but given the location of, of where it was on the map. Yeah. Let's speed things up here. Try to make boss rush if we can. I swear, it, it's like every every other skull that you blow up is a, is a host. Or every skull. I'd love to see, like... I wish that they would release, like... Some kind of statistics on like the actual probability likelihood chances of skulls just randomly giving you hosts because i feel like we would be a way above average <laughs> i mean that might be the standard confirmation bias talking but it does feel like we get a lot of it so we get rocket in a jar rocket in a jar is okay it's not one of, one of my favorite things to have but honestly with tan and lilith it could be worthwhile because we actually would have a ranged attack um this is definitely the shop over here you see me using a bomb there. So now we can we can directionally fire our bombs, uh, which is really nice. I absolutely take the glowing hourglass. And again, we need to pick up pretty much everything here that we can because we're trying to qual we're trying to uh, maximize our our uh, stat totals here from from keeper sack. So very good. We're gonna be moving, moving, moving. It's so weird to see Tane and Lilith moving this fast this early on. Thanks to those uh, thanks to the blood bag. And the halo. I'm not happy with getting hit in there. We should never get hit in this room. In the glowing hourglass, we can undo whatever happened in the previous previous room, which is nice. So if we do take some bad damage, I can just say like nope. Try again. Uh, getting some tier effects would be nice or getting some tiers rate upgrades would be nice because we would be able to whip out uh Whip out uh, Jello a little bit faster than normal. Somebody, you kind of kind of freaking me out there. I wasn't sure where that vis was gonna go. 
There we go. Mr. Dolly, which is going to give us a range and tears up. It's fine by me. And Eden Soul or Pogatory. I'm going to take Purgatory because I actually do feel that the Glowing Hourglass is just going to be better. The Glowing Hourglass, it, it saves you from more than just bad damage. It can undo a lot of things. It can undo a blind a blind item. Uh, it can undo, uh, you know, you accidentally using like your last bomb. It can, un I mean, it, it, it can undo anything really. And Eden Soul, while it is good because obviously you get two guaranteed items from any loot pool that you want, loot table that you want, it's a temporary benefit that I think is very easily outclassed and outshined uh, by the glowing hourglass, just from the simple principle of it can undo damage. What the heck was that? Isaac is on full clown physics today. How did you... I thought I killed you already. Full on clown physics. And I mean, it's not like Purgatory is any slouch either. Like, Purgatory is a fantastic item. Um, fortunately, we didn't find our pool card, so we are going to have to backtrack a bit. We still have some time, but it's going to get down to the nitty gritty here. your jello able to whip out a little bit faster and helping us with that dps damage really has not been a problem and that's the that's sort of the the story when it comes to tainted lilith like you never really have damage problems on her i've seen people it's it's been strange to me to see people complain about tainted lilith i think that she's one of the strongest characters out of the box um i think that she's only really dwarfed by characters like tainted keeper maybe tainted blue baby um, and tainted Samson at the start, but even then, like Samson, Samson's still kind of heavily dependent on items and his berserk uh, passive. Whereas Lilith has Jello right out the gate, and she's strong, very strong. I think Tainted Forgotten is also probably one of those really strong out the gate uh, characters that you know you don't really need a whole lot to finesse a lot of damage out of it. And uh, Tainted Lilith has has always consistently struck me as one of the strongest characters in the game. Um, and I don't mind playing her, unlike regular Lilith. <laughs> Ooh. Fortune Cookie is very good. I'm going to go with Fortune Cookie. I know that I just got done talking about all the benefits of having uh, the Glowing Hourglass, which is true. It is true, but Fortune Cookie allows us to generate HP for very, very, very little uh, energy investment we can also get tarot cards like you just saw right there which can give us emperor cards and you know and moon cards and all that kind of good stuff um and i think that fortune cookie is an underrated gem of an item we've seen fortune cookie go off in the past and give us just tons and tons of hp um really the where where it shines is an hp is a, is as an hp generator you're just seeing right there look at that one soul heart it's just and you also can get money from it i mean it's it's so 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 solid for only two energy you get one of the best hp generators in the game it's not consistent but it's semi-consistent i would say deck of cards doesn't really help us here we do have starter deck however so empress card eh. and you knew i was going to do that you can stop looking at the map and start paying attention to other things we get the world card Emperor card, Alge's Rune. Hold on to the world card, although the Alge's Rune is definitely a play to be had. And of course, our last shop is a Greed Fight. Got our Soul Heart back and got another one. That's exactly what I'm talking about right there. Absolutely beautiful. Your bloody ledge. That's what I'm freaking talking about. And as much as I love the glowing hourglass, the, the glowing hourglass could not do that. And that's the whole reason why I took it. And yeah, I guess we'll take, we'll take them bowl just because. And another XL floor. Well, uh, okay. And I really want to rip this Emperor card, but I know I shouldn't. 
because we're gonna need it to go to to the lamb here. I mean, we're not gonna need it. It would like if I were to use the emperor card on this floor, it would be based out of pure spite plus also uh, laziness. I'm not gonna do that. I might be spiteful and I might be lazy, but I'm not gonna use my emperor card out of spiteful laziness. That's a, that's a bad combo. Not not on a Sunday. It's a, it's the a Lord's Day today. We can't have that. Not lose your head. I'm trying game. Trust me. It's not a, not always easy. Oh my goodness. Hollow heart. No, thank you. Yeah, I mean that's just good damage right there. Warm buddy, absolutely slamming all the bosses that we come across here. I mean, Warm Buddy is the champ. You know, he's he is consistently one of the best followers in the game. I keep telling people this. People think it's a meme and a joke, but like, Warm Buddy is so good, man. Warm Buddy is the goat. We don't get an angel deal. Surprise, surprise. Um, yeah, let's go fight a first first round hushy because I we want to get the stats from the shop that we missed out of the greed fight. Oh no, Curse of Lost, oh no. More money here. Star deck's gonna give us a bunch of cards here. Lover's card would get rid of Warm Buddy, and that's just not happening. I will take Sharp Plug only because I want the I want the stats from uh, Keeper Sack. Justice card. Get a cracked key. I think what we do is we take the devil card and the magician card for old hushy. And I will take Epiphora, which it does work for it does work for Jello, but it's less effective just because obviously I'm not using uh, Jello as a tier firer. We want to make sure we have a zero charge so we can Oh actually no, I take that back. We don't have uh what am I doing? Um, we don't have a uh, dim bulb anymore. I'll let you see Epiphora here with uh, Jello. This is a solid amount of damage. I like to imagine that Jello is just sitting there talking trash to old hush. He's like, hey, hey, but you'd like to stop this damage, wouldn't you? Guess what? You can't. You can't touch me. You can hit Isaac, but you can't hit me. Some pogatory action in there. Might as well. Which direction so our tears rate is going to drop for a little bit here. Actually, you know what's funny is that I can actually I'm actually holding to the right. I'm actually firing to the right, and it's holding on to the Epiphora bonus because of because of uh Spoonbender. Where the hell is Pogatory? Where, where's Purgatory? Oh, there it is. No. Is that it? No, that can't be it. Oh, it's literally under Hush. There we go. Purgatory, what are you doing? What are you doing, son? We need, we need you here, okay? Kind of a dangerous proposition here to be walking across the screen just to look for purgatory but i think we're going to be okay i mean i have all confidence in the world in this run just because of the fact that we have a fortune cookie absolute madness with the amount of shots that we're running through here you the man warm buddy you the man
All right, down goes old hush. He was a little bit sloppy there, but I also took unnecessary risks just because I'm being a little bit silly right now. Um, going to buy the soul heart. And then we want our Emperor card back. Hermit card could also be kind of pog um, if we get taken towards the boss room, which does happen more often than not if you're on a non-store floor. All right, so Hermit card, bring us home. And it did not. Not going to pass up the... Uh, not gonna pass up the curved horn. That's just a, a foolish endeavor right there. I was lingered too long there. I was, again, I don't know why. My, lately, I've been. I wish I had the eye tracker on. I was looking at the map, trying to figure out where to go. Eva Four is actually low key, kind of really good with Tan and Lilith because I'm I'm legit firing in the opposite direction, and Jello is just is just latching onto the targets no matter where I'm no matter where he's at that's kind of crazy yeah he turned he I mean he's turning a full 180 to shoot these hands I never noticed that about uh about jello before but I mean those of you who want to try a little bit of a different method for DPS with jello there you go especially with that before because I mean you get you get so many you get such a huge tears up from that looking for just looking for some soul hearts here like our Fighting against Lamb a little bit more palpable. I mean, I know that we're not fighting Lamb yet, obviously, but we're going to immediately go to him with the Emperor card. So random soul heart there. Yeah, I didn't think that we would get that lucky if we chose the direction that uh, that the Hermit card sent us in. I used the full card there just because there's no reason for us to have it, and. Uh, it would save us from having to do that room with the, with the little haunts. Especially with one of them being eternal. I'm also kind of impressed that uh, that Epiphora does not reset on us using uh, using the fortune cookie. Really. Really, I would have lost the house on that bet. I burn down Fallen as fast as possible here. And then Purgatory is really going to screw up Stanley. Look at that. Look at that. The combination of Worm Buddy and uh, Purgatory just shuts down Satan. A little sloppy with the hit right there, but that's okay. Yeah, I don't know. I think I was born okay. Here we go for our devil deals. We get the tears up and spectral tears from Ouija board. Brimstone, Brimstone with Lilith is quite good. I won't deny. I do love the little Brimstone shots from Jello. The only problem is that he doesn't fire. He doesn't fire automatically anymore. There we go. Actually, I take that back. He does fire automatically. And with Epiphora, I, Epiphora actually affects Brimstone on uh, on Jello. Did not realize that. As you see here, because he's because he's Jello, I can just shoot in any direction, and he he just fires at the target. That's so cool, man. He's the true little Brimmy. What don't you know, 66YK? That, that didn't really work out, but Whiskey Delta November Kilo, 66 Yankee Kilo. Um, yeah, it's pretty neat. I, I would have never have thought about Epa 4 being like, like just a straight up amazing. Yeah, we can take it. Amazing synergy with uh with Tane Lilith before, but man, it's actually it's actually kind of good. Kind of really good here. We get Cardinus Mandy, which we won't use in this floor because it's not a room that we can really 
benefit from. And there's just like nothing on this floor. <laughs> Look how fast. Oh my gosh. Watch how fast Jello fires with brimstone here. Look at this. That's like, it's instantaneous. That's so great. And it's because of the tears up that we're getting from uh, Epiphora. Look at that. That is just, I mean, how do you beat that? Like that is just so, so good. Give a thumbs up for this combo because, man, Epiphora, Brimstone, Jello is, like, low-key one of my new favorite synergies. Look how fast he's firing. <laughs> You've never seen this before in Isaac. I mean, that's insane. Warm Buddy's shutting it down. No. Jello knocking him, knocking him over. Uh, I'm going to buy these, but we're still going to stick with... Um, we're still going to stick with uh, Fortune Cookie. But I think for for all intents and purposes here, we can use Diplopia as a uh, as sort of like a... I don't know what just happened there. Oh, yeah. We have Rocket Ninja. That's why. I'm still firing to the left, and Jello's just turning around and just murking everybody. This is great. I mean, again, Brimstone, Brimstone Lilith is so good. We get an angel deal for some reason. It's going to be Salvation. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to bomb these fires because maybe we can get an extra soul heart and then we can double that with Diplopia. Or, or not. That's fine, too. Diplopia... We get Salvation, which is going to give us a Seraphim Transformation. Oh my goodness. And look at this. We have two wild cards, which could also give us... That is two Diplopias. As long as we don't use anything else, including... And that, in, that does include Fortune Cookie. So as long as my stupid brain doesn't use anything else, we have not one, but two Diplopias on deck. Bro. Bro. Bro, that is some next level amazingness. Uh, yeah, we can, we can go in the curse room. I don't know. We 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 have two of the most powerful wild cards in existence right now. We cannot squander those. First the loss, who cares? We're gonna just we're just gonna mow everything down here. No, 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 no. Brain, stop. Stop. I know, I know your your primitive monkey brain is like, ooh. Space bar item. Would you look? No 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 no. We need to use Diplopia first. And what an amazing random run day this turned out to be. If you're not if you're not enjoying yourself today, then I really hope your day gets better cuz man, I'm enjoying myself. This is this has been one hell of a run. I mean, look at that. How do you <laughs> How do you stop that? Jello is firing so quickly the mobs can't even reposition before they're dead. That is way faster and more accurate than Isaac could ever be. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, it's incredible. Absolutely incredible. The new Brim Snap. Here we go. I mean, I don't even care that we went in all wrong directions. Like, this is this is just absurd. I mean, Salvation doesn't even get a chance to ramp up because Jello is just mowing everything down. Yeah, but seriously, though, where, where are we going? Where, where have we not been? We've 
gone that way? Have we gone this way? I'm pretty sure we have. Uh, okay, we've, we've gone. We've gone east. We've gone west. Okay. I don't know why I stopped going this way. Oh God. It's just, it's just a beam of, of just death, of red laser blood death. So we're looking for something that is Diplopia worthy. It's really been hard for me not to use fortune cookie. I'm trying my best, y'all. This is a this is a lesson in will lesson in willpower and discipline. Uh, no, we we don't want to we don't want to ruin this damage right now. I mean, we just we just walk into any like I haven't taken my finger off of the right off of the right arrow key in probably like three floors now, because especially with brimstone, it doesn't matter where we're firing. We have unlimited range; it's piercing and. Uh, and Jello just fires at rapid, rapid fire. <laughs> Crack the skizzle. Return of all, oops, all space bar items. I mean, we just walk in and just tell a little brim or uh, Jello just handle it. And there you go. Piece of diamonds. No, no, no. Double trouble? Yeah, double trouble this. <laughs> Get another angel deal. It's gonna be Jesus juice. We can't really use Diplopia in here. I Maybe mean, we could. We could, but like it's gonna cost us more keys than we have. I'm just I'm I'm okay with these two, and then we can we can save Diplopia for the boss rush. Yeah, see, it, it wouldn't it wouldn't have been worth it for us, in my opinion. IMO, IMO, on God, on God, FR, FR, no cap. I mean, that's the ultimate test right there. Is if Jello can kill the Blorbs before they disappear and reappear again, and that's he he was able to do exactly that. Oh, yeah, we have rocket and jar. And my ring finger is actually getting tired from holding down the arrow key, so we're gonna switch to the index finger here. Sharp plug again, which again, again, I'm only taking purely for the. Uh, Purely for the stats. We're not going to be using Sharp Plug ever. On this run, anyway. I mean, Sharp Plug can be good, but obviously it's not needed here. Like, we're just doing remote damage. I'm, I'm seriously just walking into rooms and just, like, waiting for Jello just to kill everything. My job is to just simply not get hit by anything. Jello just does the rest. Black Bean. I mean, I've never ever in in all my years I've never seen brimstone fired that quickly before. Hey, good luck, War. So we don't get a deal with the devil or a deal with the angel, which we've now been set up to have an amazing boss rush, right? 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 Boss rush is going to be insane because we have two diplopias, right? Right. Right. Uh, we do actually need to go into our item rooms first because we we're not going to have the fool card to get out of there. Out of by there, I mean boss rush. Ooh. 
Well, actually, no, no, no. I take I take that ooh back because we don't have we we've got starter deck and there's no pills, so PhD doesn't matter. And nuns have it. While it is good, it's not diplopia worthy good. At least not in this regards. If we if we had a space item that like really 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 needed something like a nun's habit then yeah i'd be all over that but this is a special occasion where we've got the ability to have double diplopia and we don't even have diplopia that's the that's the real that's a real kicker here okay <laughs> just look how look how fast that snap is from from Jello. It's just so good, man. I'm I'm obsessed with this combo. Oh man. Oh man. We get we get the stairway as well, and we don't have a lot of money. I don't think a second worm buddy's gonna do anything. Honestly. Honestly, I think that we pass on this and then use the diplopias for the stairway shops. I know that that the whole point of us holding on to the diplopias was to use it for boss rush, but this is a lot better. <laughs> yeah, that would be a lot better. And I am going to just say, I told you so. We do not want to use this holy card yet. Uh, so we get sacred heart brimstone and uh, Jello is just going to be the walking epitome of like death. For the game, every everything dies here. I mean, everything dies. So I feel immediately vindicated by me not using it on a very mediocre boss rush. I mean, this is just... Th this is one of the greatest runs of this year, I think. Without a doubt, this is one of the best runs this year. This is incredible. I mean, we're, we're essentially playing Isaac on AFK at this point. Another range up here, which doesn't really matter. We get the we get Holy Light, which, oh my gosh, leave a like for this video. It's nuts. Seriously, if you're not having fun on this run here, I, I don't know what else to say to you. I feel, I feel bad for you. Like I said, I hope your day gets better because, man, this is... This is one this is once this is one of those like once in a year runs. You, we just don't see runs like this. And it's not even like it's overly dominant. I mean it is dominant, but like it's not like it's overly flashy or anything like that. It's just incredible with the way that this run came together. And we're finding out new synergies with Tainted Lilith and Jello that I would have never thought was a thing. I'm going to take uh, Rosary for the tears up. Okay, and, and we're capped, so it, it didn't really matter. I mean, yeah, like, let's let's just go fight old Hushy again. Why not? Why not? It's Sunday. We got to go to the... Yeah. There we go. We get full use out of our... Uh, out of our Diplopia. And then we can also Perthrow Rune this. And, yeah. Uh, ground. Remember, we still have Keeper Sack, so we're still gaining stats off of using money for anything, whether it be in... It doesn't matter what kind of shop it's, it is. Hey, everybody. Although Aquarius is probably the better choice there. Pretty plum. And we get Birthright. Uh, what is Birthright for Tain and Lilith? Familiars that normally follow, follow for Jello instead. Plus three. Okay. Don't think that affects anything. But apparently it affects hollow ground. Okay, well there we go. We can start we can finally start using our stuff again now that we don't have any more diplopia. But the real test will see will be to see what this combo can do against Blue Baby and Hush. I actually think using Revelation is a DPS downgrade here. We're just gonna let Jello just do everything. Oh my gosh. 
it, it is it is not possible for a player to fire faster than this with brimstone it's just not under normal circumstances without mods or anything like that i mean the the auto targeting of jello and, and brimstone with this is is absolutely absurd That was, that was a joke, honestly. That was a pure joke. Uh, unfortunately, we can't buy anything here. And honestly, I think that's probably fine because like we already have the item that we want and that we would ever, ever want. Should be picking up money though. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say it. This, this right here is probably run of the year. So far, anyway. Just for the sheer uniqueness of the combo that we've got and the surprising nature of Epiphora Jello. Not the flashiest run of the year, but my goodness, is it strong. Like, this is just... This is just domination on a different level without, like, blowing up the entire screen and everything. We don't want Skinny out of Mushroom. There's no reason for us to take it. Why did this we had we have two angel keys here. Huh. So I guess the angel pieces or the, the angel keys didn't matter because we diplopied them? I don't know. It's a little bit strange. I hope not, game. I hope I don't die alone. Be kind of a bummer. We've gone the absolute wrong direction. No surprise there. I mean, Sacred Heart Brimstone Jello is. I mean, look at that. <laughs> Team Salvation getting in on the mix here. Steam sale is not really going to do anything for us, but it's nice to know you showed up at the very last possible second. Could not be relevant. I have an odd spot for Blue Baby, but roll with it. Yeah, and he's already dead. So, wow. What a run, everyone. What a run. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. How could you not enjoy that run? Seriously. Let's get this video over three, four, five thousand 5,000 likes. I mean, I know that a lot of people probably had a lot of fun with this run. Who said random run days weren't entertaining and a good time? Thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you had a great start to your Sunday. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some patrons of mine like Cody Dementeus, Crypto14, and Relax01. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode or get your hands on one of those exclusive Synvicta keychains, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find down below, or by going to Patreon dot com slash Invicta.